Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Um, I'm not sure what time y'all are watching this, but it is about 6.30 here. Um, my two-year-old woke me up and so I figured that I would go ahead and do this reading because I had meditated last night and I woke up this morning and for some reason I felt the need to go ahead and share this with um, y'all uh, because mainly because it's been on my mind since I've woken up about 30 minutes to an hour ago. So I went ahead and shuffled the cards, you know, uh, did my prayers to the guardian angels and spirit guides. And um, I basically did a, a, a past, present, and future spread on um, Shanann Watts currently, like her soul and where she is at and how she's feeling. So the first card I pulled was the past, you know, which is the six of uh, swords. Now, um, you know, is the swords is air, so air is intellect, words, um, you know, a lot of, you know, sometimes action, um, and it shows, you know, the six of swords taking off in the middle of the night in the boat. Now, um, again, we know, you know, he loaded up his family in the, the you know, early, early mornings before he went to work. Um, she has, you know, her three swords in front of her and three swords behind her. Um, and she is, you know, leaving in the middle of the night to um, get rid of the situation. And she's kind of coming uh, to a realization that it happened and that it hurt, but she needs to move on. Now, with the Six of Swords, I kind of look at numbers a lot, and I do feel that the Six of Swords, four of them, you know, could be her and her three children, and the other two could be Chris and Nicole, and she could care less about them, and she's leaving them behind. Um, also, and then um, this would be the present energy that is coming from her. Um, I think she's very much at rest. I don't know if she's come to another spiritual level of what happened and maybe more of understanding, I'm sure, since a lot more has come out, especially since a lot more has come out with these books and letters and constant story changing on Chris Watts' part of what, you know, why he did it, how he did it, who, you know, the timing, who was involved, all that, um, you know, the nine is, is coming to the end, so she's accepting it, she's healing, she's moving on, and, um, but she, you know, doesn't want people to forget with all of the things coming out, things are going to blow up real fucking, I'm sorry, real, um, really, really quick once these uh, books and letters more start coming out, mainly because none of his interviews, he's changed every interview he has, have, has pretty much ever had. Nicole Kessinger's story never matches up. Um, you can tell she clearly didn't want the children around. She constantly made comments about not having the children around. She, um, you know, got upset about, uh, about the fact that, you know, he was married, the had children. She, that he had children, but yet she wanted to give him a firstborn son as if she even knew that that's what she was going to have, even if she got pregnant. So there was nothing but manipulation on her part. Everything in her interview is a lie. It's nothing but like um, constant, it's avoidant questions. And so um, that will all come out and it's all going to come out really quick and it's going to blow up in their face. And that's where I do think other people are involved. I don't know if it was... Um, I, I do feel Nicole was there when it happened because of a comment Chris had made that um, that she he said when they asked about Shanann and how it happened that, that he, he had whispered to his dad that she wasn't supposed to be there. Now, obviously, the children and Shanann lived there, so they were supposed to be there. So the only person I can think of is that, you know, that could possibly be her. Now, um, I am going to go ahead... And pull a clarifying card um, from another deck to clarify the six of the uh, past for the six of swords. Um, now she this is the eight of wands. The eight of wands now more is um is communication through um 
a lot of times now emails, text messages, computer, because, you know, that's mainly how we don't do letters and things as much, but it's fast communication, um, fast acting, um, you know, and all these things, you know, when, when that happened that night, she got home and I highly doubt she expected all those things to happen. I don't think she, obviously, why would you expect another woman to be in your home? And I think he probably was trying to defend the fact that Nicole was in the home and what a good person she was. And we were, you know, and so it was probably, it was a lot of communication all at once. And that's usually, you know, enough to stir the pot to where something bad could really go down, which I, unfortunately at that time did. Now, I, presently, since she is, um, since she is she is starting to accept certain things she is bringing in a knight of wand energy um which means she is making things happen and she's making them happen quick she's going to come in very quickly with information and she's going to drop it like a bomb and it's going to explode for sure, in Chris's face, and hopefully in Nicole's, because Nicole knows definitely more than what she is saying. Um, there was also an extra pair of clothes at their house. So, therefore, um, why was, did he have clothes out four times his size, and whenever they asked him what he was going to do with the clothes, he said, oh, I was going to give them, give them to the, the people at work. Well, when she say a friend's name or, or say, you know, I'm, I don't put it to him anymore. My friends, we're going to borrow him. He just kept saying they were, I was giving, I was going to give him to them. I was going to give him to them. There was always the them, them, them. So I do feel like there was, I think he tried to dress Nicole up as a woman when he, or as a man when he was leaving the house because they did, I did see one security uh, footage where she was, it appeared to be dressed as a man. She had on, the person had on double the clothes. They were very small, but they were work boots. They were th things similar. Chris would have wore to work. And the next one I'm going to pull for the tower is the uh, the world comes after, which means Shanann is, is um, completing her cycle by letting these things come out. Um, things will come full circle and it will help her family um just the nation in general that has shocked everybody that someone could literally annihilate their whole family um all over a woman that they barely know and in the interview she's she's totally bad mouthing him i mean she's sitting there making fun of him because he made her chicken and carrots for dinner she should be lucky he didn't take her to mcdonald's and i mean i it, it's just there's things that she says that's incredibly trashy and it's like and then when she would sit there who is sitting there having an affair and then telling an agent that that's the best kind of sex they've had in their whole life i feel like that's a little bit um inappropriate so i'm going to pull one more card at the bottom to show also the past um the five of swords um Sh shenan is feeling victory at this point uh, not only does she feel, you know, again, I'm looking at numbers. So, you know, in the background, you do see people, you see two people, the fallen. And I feel that she feels that, you know, she has taken the energies. And so has everyone around her in the world get, sending those positive vibes. And they've helped her to bring down these two people, NK and, and CW, to, so that they cannot continue to... Um, falsify her name and make her into something she never was. She was a, um, she might have been a, a, what do they call it, a helicopter mother um, at certain times, but who isn't, you know, especially when you really love your kids. You know, I have an autistic son and I am probably beyond the helicopter mother. Do I give him a space and let him treat him, you know, as if he's not autistic? Of course. But, um, no, I mean, even my non-autistic son, uh, I'm, you know, he gets a so, uh, anything and, and I'm on top of it. So I, I'm not really sure why she was judged so much for um, simple things. The kids have asthma, kids have reactions, and it's a lot more common these days. So again, I'm not to rant about that. I felt that she was kind of picked at that. And um, again, so here we go with the present energy coming from her. She's bringing in that quick energy 
quick action and uh you know normally two of pentacles um, excuse me it's sliding two of pentacles would be working together upright balancing trying to balance or make a decision um i think she's had it flipped around because I don't know how to say this without sounding harsh, <laughs> but uh, she wants hell to like. I mean, not hell. I can I take that back because that's the harsh word. But she would like um, the s h i t to hit the fan, and she is just waiting for it. She's laying out all this information, um, showing you numbers to match up. Showing you that, you know, something's about to explode very soon and it's going to start a whole new world. Showing you that she has put it into that place. And normally she would, you know, it flipped around to be more positive. But because of the way that he, they did her and, you know, and her children, again, with numbers, I feel that she is very happy to get out there and get what they deserve. She is in on now in the future. Once all of this comes to the close, she is at peace. Two of Swords, um, the Two of Swords like this would be trapped, um, still in love, still hoping Chris, you know, maybe snapped, maybe on her side, and, and, and you know, did these things. But we all know that that, that didn't happen. She's coming out of that, and she's saying that that wasn't the case whatsoever that he planned it and as much as she loved him and he said the same to her unfortunately that wasn't true um i'm also going to pull just a couple more cards i'm going to move these to the side because um i want to make room i don't have a whole lot of room um if she i'm, I'm going to pull cards you know that i feel that um at the moment, I kind of see the vision of her mother in my head. So I want to pull a card. Um, and for, I'm going to pull it from the Gilded deck, which would be this one. Because that's the one that I'm getting the energy for. Um, I think she feels that her mom. Eight of um, Pentacles is hard work. Um, her mother's a very hard worker. Very loving. Very in intelligent. Very... Um, all those things, I think when when it happened, you know, she, even though she's been the strongest woman, and I don't see how she has dealt with this at all, and, and kudos to her and her family, her husband, her son, those are, they're all beautiful people. Um, I just think, you know, it rocked her world. She felt, you know, uh, Chris, she felt, her family at the time felt Chris was good for Shanann. He, he portrayed that, and, and um, you know, I think she... She just wants her to see that she knows that she felt that way. But um, pulling another card, I think the Five of Swords is putting it down, which her mom has done. She has not put any type of you know, negative energy into this other than what Chris Watts has put himself into it, and especially his mother. And his father, or the way they speak about Shanann and the children, it's disgusting. Um, I wouldn't even want them around my children, my grandchildren, at all, period, from go. And I understand they were the grandparents and didn't have a choice. Um, but, and then also, um, I, will, I will pull a message for the father. Um, I don't know the relationship, so... Um, Again, you know, um, the Six of Pentacles was reversed in the beginning for the father, and it could just be, you know, he felt the give and take between Shanann and Chris were not fair, or what Chris did to Shanann and the children were not fair, um, and they didn't deserve it. And so that's how he felt, and, and he was very, very hurt by this situation. He, again, with along with Shanann, because that came out, I want to say, for her very last card, he is coming to a place where he is learning to let that go. Um, there's nothing he can do about it. Um, and as time goes on, I mean, this is a good position. If you're, this means you're coming out of it, you're coming out of it. So they're all on the right track. They're very loving people. And I think that 
That's very important. The last card I would say would be for her brother. And the reason I say that, it's the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I know, again, Shanae was Capricorn. I'm not really sure what her um, brother and mother or father are. But uh, the Ten of Pentacles does show that there will be, um, you know, a happy life. And maybe at this point it's hard for him to see. But I think she's telling him this because she doesn't want what happened to her to ruin his outlook on what can happen for him. Mainly because you see this turtle. It's like take your time. You know, things come to fruition and, and you get a lot more. Um, just taking your time and not um you know rushing things and the last card she wants to show him is the moon which means um yes there are secrets but they will be coming out very soon um and i think i don't know again her brother personally but i would think that he would like to know the truth so therefore um i think for him i just think she wants him to know that will be happening very soon and uh, she just wanted people, I feel like at this point, she just wants people to know that she loves her family, she loves her children, and that she has moved to another, um, I almost want to say dimension, but another level of where um, she is coming from, and uh, or where she is at at this moment with her children. And uh, I just, and... I just wanted to share that with y'all. She seems very happy and the, and the energy is happy. It's good. And I hope y'all have a great rest of the day. If you uh, leave any comments, likes, questions, any other um, videos you would like me to do, um, we can do love readings, couple readings, um, you know, unsolved mystery readings, or just general energy in, uh, of a certain person. Um, Again, thank you, and I hope you have a great day. Like I said, like, click, and subscribe.